Hello friends, in our previous lecture, we have completed fifth sum of exercise 1.2 and after that we have written important concepts about <coughs> permutation and combination. Combinations are used for selections whereas permutations are used for arrangements. Considering that thing, now we are starting sum number 6 and as I said from sum number 6 to sum number 12, we will use the permutation because here arrangements are required. Okay, going for sum number 6, page number 26, find the probability of getting R in the first place, M in the last place, when all the letters of word random are arranged in all possible ways. Okay. Number 6, page number 26. Sample space was possible to write, here it is not possible to write, directly we will write the N and M because elements are such which is not possible to write so directly we will get N and M also is N is equals to 6P6, why 6P6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are the letters and in that 6P6 meaning because we need to arrange all the possible letters in a all possible ways. So 6P6 and when up and down the values are said it is directly 6 factorial which is equals to 720. Friends, how do you get this 720? 6 factorial is equals to 6, multiply 5, multiply 4, multiply 3, multiply 2, multiply 1. Okay. Now, event a how we need to arrange the letters getting r at first place and m at last place now we will show some rough calculations so now draw with the pencil this Things what I am doing now, draw with pencil. As there are six letters, draw six blank boxes. So these are the six blank boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six boxes for six letters. Now they are telling that R should be at the first place. So first place is fixed is for R. M should be at the last place. And remaining four are for remaining four letters. So here only R can come, so one P1, here only M can come, so one P1, here four letters and four places, so four P4. So write this much rough calculation with pencil only because we are this doing uh, we are doing this for just our understanding that we need R at the first place, so place is fixed. We need M at the last place, place is fixed. Now four places and four letters, so four. Okay, so our M will be 1P1 into 4P4 into 1P1. Now when up and down the values are same, directly the factorials are to be taken. 1 factorial is 1, 4 factorial is 24 into 1, it is 720. Not 720, 24 ones are 24. Now P of A is equals to M by M, 24 by 720. 1 by 30. We will cut by 24. Values can be possible by cutting off 24, 24. Okay, so this is the answer. Going for the next sum, <coughs> seventh sum. first, third and sixth place when all the letters of word orange are arranged in all possible ways. <coughs> 
question number 7 total number of arrangements for word orange is n is equals to again 6 p 6 y 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 are the letters any letter can be at any place so 6 p 6 is equals to 720 okay now event a how we need the value vowels at <coughs> first third and sixth place we require the vowels at first third and sixth place so again let us draw with the pencil six blank boxes with pencil One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you two lines and write with pencil itself. Vowels and consonants. From O R A N G E, vowels will be O A E. Consonants will be R N G. Now we need vowels. At first, third, and sixth place, and we need consonants at remaining places. Now, friends, how is the arrangement? Now, write with the pen these whole things with pencil. Now, see, there are three vowels and three space, so 3p3. Three three. Again, there are three consonants and three places, so 3p3 three three again. So, this is 3 factorial into 3 factorial. 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1, 6 into 6 is 36. P of A, M by N, 36 by 720. Cut it by 36, 36, we will get 1 by 20. So, friends, what was the difference between this sum and that sum? In previous sum, space, uh, the place was fixed <coughs> here. Place is fixed, but there are three possibilities for each. So 3p3 we have done and we have solved the sum. Now going for the eighth sum. Five members of a family, husband, wife and three children are randomly arranged in a row for a family photograph. Find the probability that husband and wife are seated next to each other. So question number 8. Total number of arrangements for a family photograph is n is equals to 5p5 is equals to 5 factorial is equals to 120. Now, why 5p5? Because there are 5 members, husband, wife and their 3 children. So, total arrangements is 5p5 in that way. Now, event A. Husband and wife. <coughs> are seated next to each other. We need such arrangement. 5p5 is showing their total arrangement. Anyone can sit at any place or any letter can come at any place for previous two sums. Now, event A is showing such an arrangement where husband and wife are seated next to each other. So, for that again take pencil H W. H means husband, W means wife, C1 is first child, C2 is second child and C3 is the third child. Okay, so these are the five members of family. Condition is that husband and wife should be together, means next to each other means they should be together, so we are highlighting them. And these three are different. So 
so see this is a group why it is a group because husband and wife should be together no none of the children can come in sit in the between of them one group plus three different is equals to four total if you remember then same type of sums we were doing in standard level also for permutation and combination chapter same thing we were doing that only thing we have to use that there are husband wife children one children two and children three five numbers for that we need husband and wife in such a way that they are next to each other so none of the children can sit in their between so this is one group because none of them can come then children are different so four total now m is equals to 4p4 why 4p4 one group and three different any group can no any can say anyone can sit at any place but husband and wife are together so instead of telling it 5p4 we are telling one 4p4 because these are together and these are different into 2p2 why 2p2 2p2 is showing internal arrangement of husband and wife how internal arrangement see husband it is a condition that husband and wife should sit together but first husband can sit next wife and wife can sit or second option first wife can sit second husband will sit so that is the option so we are doing to be to internal arrangement of husband and wife So four factorial into two factorial, twenty four into two, forty eight. P of a m by n, forty eight by one twenty. Cut it by twenty four, we will get two by five. Cut it by twenty four, we will get two by five. Or if you don't know to cut, then you, if you are writing this answer, then also your answer will not be wrong. Okay, my friends, I make I will make the things clear. If you are not cutting the terms, then also if you are writing this answer, then also it is correct. It is not wrong. Okay, eight sum is over. Now going for the lines. <coughs> Seven speakers. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This same sum we are having in standard eleven also. Are invited in a program to deliver the speech in a random order. Anyone can give the speech in any way. So total there are seven. So seven P seven is the total arrangement. Find the probability that speaker B delivers immediately after A. Six P six is total. 
into one p one. Why one p one? One p one is showing internal arrangement for a and b, but not b and a. See in previous sum, husband and wife. Or wife and husband, wife and husband, both options are possible. So we have done two P two for the internal arrangement because husband wife is possible and wife husband is possible. Now here what is the condition? A after B that is one group and five are different. So six are total. So six P six. And why we are not writing two P two? The reason is that here in the question they are giving A and B, not B and A. So A speaker B will come. A not before A, so for that only one internal arrangement. Okay, so six P six is six factorial, one P one is one factorial. Six factorial is seven twenty into one, so seven twenty. So P of A <coughs> M by N seven twenty divided by fifty forty. Now cut it by seven twenty itself, you will get one by seven. Cut it by seven twenty. How I can show? See seven twenty. Now seven twenty into seven, so seven twenty seven twenty is getting cancelled. Okay, so one by seven. Okay, so this sum is also over. Now some special sums regarding regarding days are given. <coughs> okay, so ten sum. Find the probability of having five Mondays in a month of February, which is not a leap year. Okay, when such questions are asked, first you decide that question is regarding month or regarding full year, because question number eleven is also same, but they are telling find the probabilities of having fifty three Fridays in a year, and in question number ten, five Mondays in the month of February, and. In question number twelve, having five Tuesdays in the month of August. So first you decide what they are asking about a month or about a year. Now, if you look the current calendar properly, <coughs> then you may see that in a month, all the days, all the days will come minimum four times. How? If I am talking about thirty-one days, take your calculator. Thirty-one days. Divide by seven. Thirty-one divided by seven is four point four two, which shows that each day can come four times, and point four two, which shows any other day can come some other time also. Means some days are five times and some days are four times, but minimum all will come four four times. So in a month, if we are doing seven days of week into four times normal. So in a month there are normal 28 days for which all the days are coming four four times. Now if there are 31 days and if you are subtracting three days, then if you are subtracting 28 days, then three days are extra. Means any of the day Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday can come three times. Can come uh, three of them can come one one time extra. Three times means one one time extra. In the same way, if there is a month of 30 days. If you do minus 28 days normal, I am not talking about February. I am talking about normal days. What is the reason for normal days? I will explain. See, if you are subtracting 31, which is the maximum day in a month, divide by seven days of a week, 31 divided by seven, then it will come 4.42. Or else, if you do 30 divided by seven, it will come 4.28. Or else, you do 29 divided by seven. It will be 4.14, or if you do 28 divided by 4, so 28 divided by 7, it will be exactly 4, which shows in a month each day, that is from Monday to Sunday, can come minimum 4-4 time. Can come minimum 4-4 time. Now, if there are 31 days, then 31 minus 28, 3 days are extra, so there is a chance of chance of one one more time for each day. If there are 30 days, then there are two chances. If there are 29 days, then there is only one chance in a month. I am talking. Now in a year, 
365 divide by 7 days of week 52 week point 14 is there so each day from Monday to Sunday can come 52 times in a year now if there are 360 uh, can come uh, 52 times in a year so 52 into 7 if you are doing then in a year there are normal 364 days which is showing that each day from Monday to Sunday can come minimum 52 times. Now if there are 365 days minus 364 normal days there is one day extra. There is one day extra which can be Monday to Sunday any day. If there are 366 days where in a leap year then there are two days extra. Means in short you have to find how many days are extra in a month and that now we are writing. Okay. So what they are asking find the probability of having 5 Mondays in the month of February which is a leap year. Okay. So how you will start the sum? Look here. In February month which is a leap year there are 29 days now normal days in that month is equal to 29 days divided by 7 days oblique per week 29 divided by 7 4.14 times is equal to 4 times therefore Normal days is equal to 4 times 29 days divided by 7 days per week 4.14 is equal to 4 times ok then we can say normal days is equal to 4 times into 7 days per week 28 days Then extra days. Extra days is equal to 29 total days minus 28 normal days is equal to 1 day extra. So before making any event, you have to make this calculation that sum is regarding month or sum is regarding total year here sum is regarding a february month so in a february month which is a leap year there are 29 days number of repetition of days means all the days sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday can come normally how much time four times 4.14 4 so four times so four times into seven days of the week so 28 days so there will be 29 minus 28 one day extra now Sample space for one day extra on u is equal to which is that extra day that can be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. N is equal to 7. Now event A about 5 Mondays. 
in month. So A will be equal to Monday. M will be equal to 1. P of A, M by N, 1 by 7. Now friends, why I have done the calculation in this way, I will explain. First, you decide it is of month or a week. Then you find the normal repetitions. Okay? Then you find the normal days. Then you will get one day extra. If there are two days extra, then all the days will be written two times. Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday. Then Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And if there are three days extra, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But here one day extra is there. So this month, so n will be seven. Always n will be seven because there is a week of seven days. Now, in that one day is only of one time, so m is equal to one. But if you are writing two two elements, Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, then Monday will come two times, then you will get 2 by 7. Means, in, in short, if there is one day extra, probability will be 1 by 7. If there is two day extra, probability will be 2 by 7. If there is three days extra, probability will be 3 by 7. And four days extra cannot be, not, cannot be there, okay? So now, this was the tenth sum. Now, we are doing twelfth sum because it is related to month only. Then, we will go for 10th, uh, 11th sum, okay? So, again, this is 10th sum regarding month. Now, we are doing 12th sum that is also regarding month only, okay? So, now we are going for 12th sum. Then, do 11th sum, okay? Find the probability of having 5 Tuesdays in a month of August of any year. See, friends, if there is August, then it will have only 31 days whether it is a leap year or not, okay? In August month, comma, there are 31 days in any year. Okay, then next you will find number of repetitions of days is equals to 31 days divided by 7 days a week, which will be 4.42 times. 4.42 is equals to 4 times. After that, Normal days in a month is equals to 31 actual minus 28 normal 3 days extra. So your answer is 3 by 7 only. But how to write that is important. Sorry, 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 sorry. I have missed one step. Normal days in a month. <laughs> Normal days in a month is equals to 4 times into 7 days is equals to 28 days. Then it will come number of extra days. So first find repetitions, then find normal days. Normal days will be always 28 only. Number of extra days is equals to 31 total minus 28 normal. So 3 days extra. Now, now we have the sample space. Sample space for 3 days extra is now friends listen very carefully how to write 3 days extra ok write a group of 3 3 days Sunday Monday Tuesday now it will be little bit difficult if you are writing in this way so make a horizontal but not a vertical order now after Sunday that is Monday then Tuesday then Wednesday then Thursday, then Friday, then Saturday. First write horizontally, then write vertically. Only uh, that is possible because if you are writing this way, then you will forget. 
Now, after Monday, there is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. After Tuesday, there is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Okay? So, in this way, you will write three days extra. N is equal to 7. Why? N is 7. Always N is 7 because this is one element. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes? And in that, even A is equal to 5 Tuesdays in month of August. M is equal to. We need where Tuesdays are there. So these three are the elements. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So M will be equal to 3. P of A, M by M, 3 by M. So friends, this is the method. When there are three days extra, this way you write. And Tuesday you will get in all three elements. So M will be three. In short, your answer is this only. Three days extra means three by seven. Always N will be seven because there are a group of seven days only. So now 10 sum is completed, 12 sum is completed. Now we are going for 11 sum, which is related to whole year. Okay. So today all the sums related to permutations will be over. This is the last sum for today. Question number 11. Last sum for today. Okay, now reading question number 11. Find the probability of having 53 Fridays in a year which is not a leap year. which is not a leap year as 365 days and year which is not a leap year as 365 days ok number of repetition of days is equal to 365 days divided by 7 days per week 52.14 is equal to 52 times that sum is not related to months this sum is related to year then normal days in a year is equal to 52 times into 7 days per week is equal to 364 days then number of extra days is equal to 365 total minus 364 normal if there is a leap year then it would be 366 but now it is 365 so it will be one day extra again the same thing sample space for one day extra u is equal to write all the days one time sunday monday tuesday Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. N is 7. Event A. 53 Fridays. 53 Fridays in a year. A is equals to Fridays only one time. Okay? 
so m is equals to 1 p of a m by n 1 by 7 so friends we have completed all the sums of permutations so tomorrow now we will look the sums related to combination till that time that's all for today thank you so much